I was just thinking about something. And that's this whole thing with how, you know, how a lot of people on the far right like to bitch about the woke mob and things like that. And it's one of those things where it's like that, that whole woke mob shit, the whole, you know, you know, all this rhetoric that we hear in the modern day of, you know, uh, you know, groomers and stuff like that, and, you know, all this bullshit that, you know, that's spewed, and obviously a lot of it being based in homotransphobia. When you really think down to the root cause of all this, it's always been based in anti-communism, and frankly, you know, anti you know, anti-protest. The whole thing with them trying to call Antifa terrorists and essentially labeling them, you know, as basically being, you know, uh, people even going so far as to sit, claim that Antifa is fascist, which is ridiculous. The whole rhetoric behind all that is based very deeply in the old roots of anti-communism, McCarthyism, and frankly, you know, that it's the reason for, you know, and, and even deeper than that, it's based in America's racist history and white supremacist and Christian nationalist history. It's all part of the same pile of crap that continues to just build. It's the same freaking dumpster fire that it always has been and frankly probably always will be the problem is is that the rhetoric just changes every so often instead of you know you know the, those damn communists it turns into all well, those damn gay people those damn trans people oh those immigrants oh those whatever the case is oh it's the woke mob oh it's the antifa oh it's you know this thing or that thing you know and it really just boils down to the fact that these people are, have, it, it, nothing has really changed. It's not that these people are getting more fascist, although they technically are. It's not that the rhetoric is getting more fascist. The rhetoric has always been the same. It's just they themselves are getting more and more reactionary. And that's just something that I kind of was thinking about um, just now while I was actually in the shower. Um, so, yeah, this whole rhetoric about the woke mob that you hear from people like Trump or Ron DeSantis and stuff like that, basically it's really like all you need to take take out is woke mob and put in communists and then it's the same rhetoric you had from you know 80 years well 60 70 years ago you know it's the same crap it's just a different different language that they're using the language really has not changed it also is one of those same things that when you take a look at words like you know how they used to describe gay and trans people as being groomers take that out and basically replace it with Jews replace it with you know with the Mexicans coming across the border you know change it to the terrorists change it to the basically you'll find that the rhetoric is always the same but really let's double back on that first point because really that's where it all is steeped in, right? Anti-communism and racism. It's one of those same reasons why American McCarthyists kind of in a way have embraced uh, a lot of Nazi ideology and why they were quick to embrace Nazi scientists and other people during that time and willing to even go so far as to 
secretly um, help Nazis escape from Germany after the war because they knew at the time they would be an asset to them. But the problem really is not just the asset, the fact that they there was a benefit there. It's also the fact that a lot of these people had certain sympathies because they may not necessarily have agreed with certain policies, but they definitely, you know, did not like black people at the time. Certainly did not, you know, homosexuality and the, even the idea, idea of transgenderism was a taboo. It was practically a death sentence back then. God forbid you even had a disability because then they just drilled a hole in your head. I guess that I mean that's a far cry from just unaliving you, you know, like the Nazis did. But really, it's not that far off of a cry. When you think back through him, through American history, and even look back at our his, look at our modern day, you really start to get a glimpse of just how things don't change. Certain things do, you know, but the rhetoric always stays the same. The thought process stays the same. And then we can draw parallels to our day and history and between American neoliberalism and neoconservatism to that of even the Nazis. It really makes you think. That's why I'm saying when it comes down to this whole thing about calling people the woke mob, calling people groomers and things like that, you know, to reference gay and trans people. All you need to do is take those words out and replace them with the Jews, replace them with the communists. How actually you still could technically replace them with uh, the gays, homosexuals, because the Nazis did it. So, yeah, there's your parallel for you. And the, the, this whole anti-gay, anti-trans mob that's been stirring, especially in states like Texas and Florida and, you know, somewhat surprisingly in Tennessee, it's the same shit. It's the same shit that we saw during the Nazi regime. So, just a little food for thought. Kind of thought I would bring that all up. But, yeah, all you have to do is replace those words, and, and there you go. The rhetoric has always been the same. The thought process has always been the same. It's just words change. And in an era now where it seems words and logic and, you know, consistency doesn't seem to matter. <laughs> yeah, go figure. I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. <laughs>